we call this our six piece one man band. And it's very plain because Seberg was trying to find a way to have an economical instrument available to the public in 1925. And he certainly succeeded because this was the best seller of that year. After this model, uh, Seberg quit making Nickelodeons and turned his attention to the, anybody know? The jukebox. And he had a very successful career going on to manufacture a series of jukeboxes. Uh, with a jukebox, I can uh, put my money in and dial up my tune and listen to what I want to hear. And as I said, that's kind of the downside of a Nickelodeon. So, Seberg also insisted on lively music on all his Nickelodeons because he felt the American public needed some cheering up at this point in history. Um, there's some rank time on this and this happens to be selection number four and this happens to take a nickel. So we're going to listen to the entertainers Ray. I invite you to come up and get a closer look at J.P. Seberg's KT Nickelodeon. 